Hello everyone. Today I will show you how to create your project website in under 10 minutes and with all the features like roadmap, tokenomics and more. Now I will be also giving the source code for free so make sure to watch the video until the end how to set up and get the source code from my github. Before we start setting this up, I want to tell you about this new project, which is called Wall Street Memes 2.0, and it looks like a great project to get in early. They are now doing a pre sale as well as a free airdrop, so you might want to go and uh, secure your bag. I bought uh, a small amount for myself and I also claimed uh, the airdrop so you might want to go I will leave the link on the description for the airdrop and for the pre-sale as well thank you Wall Street Memes for sponsoring this video now let's get back to setting up their website this is how it looks we have the tokenomics here and information about the token uh, in this case it's two tokens but we are gonna change that by deleting some of the text and then we have the buy buttons and the socials here then there is more information and down here we have uh, the roadmap now the reason why I chose this project is because uh, it's because uh, it's all HTML. You guys ask me a lot about these kind of projects because it's easier for you to edit, customize and set up. Okay, so now all we have to do to get started is get to Visual Studio Code and open the files there. Now uh, to start editing, let's say we want to edit the text, you can simply delete one of the text at the top that tells you about the information of the token and keep just one. Okay. Okay, so this is our token and then for the buttons we can choose uh, to use them for different stuff like buy the token for the first button we can add staking button here and we can use the other buttons for like white paper and other stuff if we don't need any of them we can simply go ahead and delete them or just comment them out so we can use them in the future as well as for the uh, coin market cap we can do the same for these two by deleting one of them okay then we go down to more text as I have shown you before you can simply change text by searching it on the Visual Studio code Okay, so when you add a big text and you cannot find it, make sure to go and delete some of it because it might change uh, when it's a big text. You, you will still find the whole text, just it's harder to find when it's too big because there could be commas in between them. Okay, so here we found text and as well for the images we can simply go to the files uh, assets and we have all the images here as i have shown you before the easiest way for new buys is to change the images is delete the old image upload your new one and name it the same but you should make sure it is PNG okay so if the old image is PNG you should ma make sure it's the, the new one is the same as well for the other 
images if it is uh, jpeg it needs to be jpeg the new one as well okay after you have changed the images as well then we want to change links so the best way and the fastest way to find links i use always the telegram link which is easier to find and you find all the links here then you can simply replace them with your own links okay there's all the links here simply replace them one by one after that make sure to save and now let's say we want to change colors the colors you need to go to uh, CSS files and in this case it's the styles and to find wh which color belongs to which I always use uh, the Mozilla Firefox okay I use the eyedropper to find any colors and then uh, search them here okay so let's say let me find you something okay so let's check this color we want to change the color of the buttons you find the color by just clicking on it it will automatically copy and we found it here this is the color of the buttons okay now we want to change this to let's say blue or just this okay as you can see here we changed the color of the buttons uh, this tool on the Firefox is pretty cool it helped me a lot and make sure to use it it will help you a lot in any website any job okay so after you have done all that you are ready to zip your files and upload to your host if you are uh, new to this i would recommend you to use static that app uh, which is very simple to host a website you can simply zip and upload your files now uh, don't forget to go to my github to get the source code for free and join my social medias as well check out wall street memes and claim your free airdrop links in the description thank you and see you in the next video